Now online you'll hear a lot of mixed results about people's experience with Canon's digital IS and today I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of sample footage and kind of talk about when we should use it and when we shouldn't use it and I'll start by just going over a couple of items from the manual because it kind of gives you some insight into Canon's intent with this digital movie IS. Movie digital IS can be used with a lens that has image stabilization built in. It can be also used with a lens that has no stabilization at all and I think often that is the best time to use it is when your lens doesn't have image stabilization. In camera image stabilization electronically corrects camera shake during movie recording. This function is called movie digital IS. So this uh, digital IS is not like the GoPro's digital IS, which is designed to smooth out and make gimbal-like footage of people running and jumping and doing all kinds of exciting things. Uh, this digital IS in the Canon cameras is really just designed to take that handheld camera shake out of your footage. So whether you have a manual lens or you have a lens with IS, if you're moving too much, you know you get that shaky footage. And this digital IS is just designed to sort of take that edge off that shaky footage and just make the uh, image more viewable and usable. And in the notes below where it says how to enable the movie digital IS, it does say since movie digital IS magnifies the image, the image looks more grainy, noisy, dots of light, etc., may become noticeable. So. It does seem to affect image quality, even though when I did a sort of a 4K comparison side by side, it seemed that there was a little bit of uh, image cl clarity loss, but it wasn't terrible. But anyways, you'll see the footage later in the video, so you can be the judge of that. Now, as we go through this footage, this is actually how the movie Digital IS is really designed to be used. You can see I'm doing a handheld shot here and uh, I'm just doing handheld uh, video footage and I'm using the Canon EF 50 millimeter, the, uh, the Nifty 50. And here you'll see some samples. This is this, that shot with no image stabilization and you can see the noticeable camera shake. And now we are in the first level of stabilization. You can see it's really taken away most of that camera shake. It has cropped in a little bit, but the image is much better. And then now we are in the third level of enhanced image stabilization and even handheld, this makes this footage nearly gimbal-like. It really does a great job of stabilizing that footage. Now this shot is from a school concert. Uh, I was actually sitting halfway back in the auditorium holding the camera up over my head and it held it almost like it was on a tripod. I was, I was honestly shocked. This is footage that would have been totally unusable. Once again, this is on the 50 millimeter uh, F1.8, uh, and this would be completely unusable footage without that digital IS. Now here is a tracking shot I did when I first got the camera, and, and, I, and if you do the sort of ninja heel toe walk, you can actually get some pretty good results with tracking. And here is another attempt at doing that style tracking shot. This is just with the standard IS on. And it's amazing how you think that you're really keeping that camera super steady, but it is moving way more than you know when you look at the image. But uh, it certainly does smooth the image out uh, a little bit, the video footage out a little bit. And here is the enhanced mode trying to do that same exact shot. Now you notice that it definitely smooths the footage out a little bit more, but you will see slight blurring in the image when it is actually doing the major part of its stabilization when it's really trying to stabilize that footage. But I think this is completely usable and certainly it's much better than it was without the image stabilization. Now here's the 22 millimeter F2. Uh, this is with no stabilization. This gives you an idea of, of really how jerky it is even though I'm trying to walk it's quite uh, softly. And you have a look at this. I mean it looks like I'm holding that camera pretty steady but I, I clearly am not. Um, and once again, here's that, that same shot, no image stabilization. And uh, now we're coming into the first level of stabilization. This is just digital IS on. And you'll see uh, it, it's not perfect. It, it sort of, I don't know, wallows back and forth a bit, but it does stabilize the footage to some extent. I think this shot is probably better than the first one. Uh, I think that's, and that's a totally usable shot like that in my mind. Uh, now this is the enhanced digital IS, and I think this is a pretty good shot. You can see I think that is actually an excellent tracking shot. There's a tiny bit of blurring, but nothing that would bother me, and I think that is a, quite a good cinematic shot, and that's totally, totally usable. 
uh, this next shot I'm holding out the camera in front of me so I'm sort of moving a bit more which is creating a bit more blur in the image so when it has to really move the image a lot to keep it in the center of frame that's when you get that blurring uh, now this is a kind of a I don't know, Hollywood style tracking shot I was trying to do, sort of almost emulate a gimbal type movement. And I thought it was actually pretty good. I was reasonably impressed with the results of this. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but this is in the enhanced digital IS mode and I'm going upstairs and I think it really did a pretty good job of keeping that footage stable. This is with no post-processing. And I think that is totally usable if you're doing some sort of home movie or, or home cinematic footage. Uh, now this is a panning test I did. This is with no IS and you can see it is a bit jerky as I'm panning. And the next shot, this is with the first level of image stabilization and you'll notice that it definitely has stabilized the footage. It certainly looks much more cinematic and it's, it's a far more usable image I think. And then the third one is the enhanced mode. And you'll notice it's very, very smooth, but it has cropped in quite significantly. So you do lose a lot of your field of view when you use the enhanced mode, but it does keep the image extremely smooth. Now this is the question, does the digital IS affect sharpness? Canon's already told us it does. Here's a shot with no IS, which is the 30, with the 32 millimeter, the super sharp lens for this camera. Then we've got with the first level of IS and then the enhanced IS. And I think there is some loss in clarity, but I don't think it's absolutely huge. So really, a lot of this is about knowing uh, when to use the digital IS, when not to use the digital IS, sort of handheld shots you're trying to keep steady if you're a long distance, particularly if you're using a lens that has no image stabilization built in, I would definitely use the digital IS in movie mode. If you do have a lens that has IS built in and the IS is pretty good in that lens, then generally I turn the digital IS off. So I think digital IS, use it when you have the lenses that don't have the image stabilization built in. Turn it off for the ones that have the image stabilization built into the lens. Hope that video was helpful. If you're interested in the M6 Mark II or any of the EFM lenses and this system, subscribe to the channel. I'm currently doing a video series on this whole system and that's what this channel is all about at the very moment. So. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.